Hi, my name is Cedric Michael Cox. I'm a visual artist specializing in painting and drawing. And this is my studio in Roselawn, Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, this is a very unique space where I do my artwork. And you can see my sketches right here on the table. And I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my creative environment. Hi, we're just going to go around and talk about a few of these paintings. This one is called Turning Point, a painting inspired by a project I did with Children's Hospital that talks about the emergence of life and the cycle of life. And this is another one that's actually going to be shipped out to Washington, D.C. that actually goes along the same theme of life and rebirth. And it's called Transcendence. And a lot of the paintings that you see in the studio here are done within the past year or two. Um, this one is Rapture in Red. This is one of my favorites. And this one is one of the few paintings that's actually created that's based off the actual sketch itself. My work itself is derived from telling a portrait of yourself or explaining who you are from the inside out rather than the outside in. It's kind of like an intuitive self-portrait where I'm gathering all the influences, the people, and the shapes, and the things I do on a daily basis, and kind of subconsciously letting them go on a piece of paper. And then somehow or another, it ends up on the canvas uh, through you know careful planning and colors. But usually, it's a, I want to keep that same spontaneity that happens in the drawing into the painting. So they're kind of like this internal architectural anatomy of my inner spirit, if you will. That's what a lot of the abstract pieces relate to. Okay, this is my table, table of uh, creativity, where I have wrapping paper for wrapping up paintings. And I have, of course, my various tubes of acrylic paint, along with my drawing uh, pens and pencils and brushes and markers. But uh, primarily, I'm an acrylic painter. And I, I, I love acrylics. I like the fact that they just, you know, you throw them on there and they dry fast. Um, and it just worked for me. I was trained in um, oil painting, but uh, because things are just moving so fast and things were on demand, I just, I just paint with acrylics. I usually believe in starting with the darker essence of a color. I actually, people are surprised, like this is the closest thing I have to red, which is a, almost like a it's very cadmium bright kind of red. I, I, I don't really deal with red, but for example, I'll take something like a red oxide and I'll paint something that I want red. I'll start off with a red oxide. Then I'll dry brush maybe some of this on top of it to get a really earthy look to it. If I want something that's going to be turquoise or this kind of light blue, I'll start it off first with like this deep, darker blue or even go any dark, darker than that. The whole idea is I like my shadows to already be there and I like to pull light from the darkness. A lot of people think that's a reverse pattern of painting, but it's something I learned when I started working on murals. This is another work in progress. It's almost done, just like the previous painting. This is called Bundles of Joy. Bundles of Joy. Bouncing Bundles of Joy, something like that. So basically that's what it feels like, uh, like you're dancing on the sun. It's the first piece that I did or finished for uh, the new year. And yeah, I love it. It's very colorful, it's very patriotic, <laughs> and it's very uh, bright, and it's just fun. It just feels very animated and just fun. And so, of course, you have the blank canvases of commissions and works that are about to get started. I've always had my studio or my creative space where I've lived. Um, I had studios in Over the Rhine, and I've had studios in Avondale, but uh, I've always lived where I worked. When you have an idea, you want to wake up and attack it, and you want to be able to uh, chill out and relax in a nice home environment, and then be you know, easily ready to get down and get to work. I love this space because it's a long space. It allows me to walk back and see my paintings that are mostly on the wall, because I work on a painting at a time when it comes down to it being on a wall. But yeah, I just love it. I think it's great. Um, I like to actually have more working walls but in time, you know, in time. Actually, my next project is a big six by 10 footer, so it's definitely gonna be one big painting at a time, so. <laughs>